Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hi guys, it's me, Traveler Tip We are here at the famous Nelly Southern Kitchen For those that don't know, it is the Jonas Brothers Yes, that's right, the Jonas Brothers Family restaurant here that they had set up in Las Vegas so you never know who we might see maybe we'll see Kevin maybe we'll see Nick who knows we are going to try the desserts can't wait to try the famous banana pudding the banana pudding it looks so good I don't know if you can zoom in and see that but it's gonna be a homemade custard layered with fresh bananas but here's the kicker. So you've had banana pudding and you know, there's been some that are kind of yay or kind of a miss. But what they do special is they marshmallow or I guess they toast the marshmallows to make it like a meringue filling on top of the banana pudding. So I've never had that before. So I'm here for it. We're in Vegas of all places, so let's try it. So I'm not only gonna just try one dessert here. I couldn't decide between their famous banana pudding or their uh, chef dessert, which they make every day, I guess is something different, they were saying. But today is a homemade Americana apple cobbler or a crisp. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a cobbler or a crisp. I'm not 100% uh, on that, but- It's a cobbler. It's a cobbler today? Okay, my, my film person says it's a cobbler. So we're gonna have an apple cobbler with a little bit a la mode. And you know what? Why only have one dessert when you can have two? We are going to try their famous banana pudding. This normally is served in a mason jar, but for my birthday, they brought out two little ones. And being said it is the Jonas Brother concert this weekend, they are doing a one-time thing that is gonna be a strawberry shortcake. I did try to order the apple crisp, but wah wah. They are completely out of it or they're not having it cooked yet. Not exactly sure what the ETA is on that, but we got two desserts, so we're gonna dig into those instead. All right, so as you can see, it even has a cute little vanilla wafer and it has the toasted meringue on here. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So let's go ahead and dig in. First bite, best bite. Oh, look at that. They just made it today, they said back there. Get a little bite of the whipped cream, the banana pudding, and a little bit of that, oh, oh, a little bit of that meringue. So I'm not a big banana pudding fan, but this is so good. You can actually taste the fresh bananas. And what's really different about it is this meringue. I would never have thought of putting meringue on um, banana pudding especially being a marshmallow but it really works like i might have to look up this recipe because this is actually pretty good and i want to try a bite of that vanilla wafer it actually kind of reminds me of my grandma's banana pudding that she used to make really good so with this banana pudding i got a little bit more fresh bananas here I'm gonna give it a seven. I actually like the meringue with the marshmallow meringue on top. I think it kind of brings the dessert together. So I'm sorry, Nick, Kevin, Joe. I'm just gonna give it a seven at this point. All right, so we are gonna try the one-time special of the strawberry shortcake here at, um, in honor of the Jonas Brothers at Nelly's Home Cooking Kitchen. So this is an old-fashioned strawberry shortcake, and you know how it's, you can tell it's old-fashioned? It's kind of like the kind that my grandma used to make. It has the strawberries, but instead of the actual shortcake, it is their biscuits that they serve here too. So with a biscuit, fresh strawberries, some whipped cream. Let's get into it. It's different. I feel like there's even like a custard or like a pudding in here. Have to be honest with you, I'm gonna give this probably like a five and a half. I'm not loving it. I'm, I know it's something that they don't normally serve on their uh, dessert menu. So you probably might not get a chance to order it anyway. So I think I just saved you a couple bucks. All right, guys, remember, I'm just here for the desserts. Can't wait to see what goes in my mouth next. 
or what I try here in Vegas. So make sure you like and subscribe because I'm gonna go ahead and eat my way through Vegas, baby. Woo!